Oh, we have the girl back. So now we have a game plan, though. Yeah. Um, and the game you know plan how to find a is dagger. exactly tear the blanket, and then you kill all of you. Then you kill everyone in the orgy for experience. God, what wouldn't that be great? So we we probably can't participate in the orgy. I mean, this goes without saying. We probably shouldn't participate in the orgy with the little girl around. No, <laughs> that would be bad. Um, but the question is, damn it, a bone, bone saw. saw. I'm, I'm not even sure if the coin toss does anything. <laughs> yeah. All right. So she can't equip anything there. That's fine. Um, the bone really saw is not be any better though. than a starting weapon. Yeah. It might be something else. It might be used for something. Oh, God. That's fine. We're good. Are you, though? Oh, God. Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, <laughs> in my rusty go cage. So irritating. I'm amused by the suspense of whether or not decapitating them will actually work. <laughs> or if they'll we'll actually keep... kill them. Yeah, because we've already yeah. ooh, scooping like glass vial. We got blood yeah. in the vial. Now drink it, drink so it, it drink it, drink it. Blood. Uh, let's see what it does. It's middle left. Effective against infections. Oh. Horrifying. Oh my god. You can saw off your leg because you're Oh my god, look at him go. This is a terrible sound. <laughs> he just committed. Oh, but I what still a, got my two legs. What so a man. Good. Oh, but it, it took off my arm. Uh, no, or you lost, you lost lose the arm, arm in the fight. Uh, the very first attack took your arm off. You gotta, he took his loincloth. Loin it's still damp from the <laughs> sweat. Cloth is, oh, you just, musky. You just stole his musky cloth. <laughs> It's a soup cloth. Oh, it's a soup cloth. Oh, no. <laughs> this continuity only makes sense to us because it's the same day for us. Yes, it's the day we recorded this. I mean, this is something I'm just complaining about right now because but like the buttons in this game on the keyboard are so sensitive. I have been trying to like rock it my hand yeah. off of the keyboard and if I keep the button held it just skips past dialogue yep hi oh yeah there's that guy maybe he uh, wants the girl <laughs> oh my god I have like no health this is not gonna be good yeah you do you did cut off two limbs I did that's not great I hear a crack underneath my feet uh oh I technically have a crack above my feet well, you're down here now. <laughs> I, I fell, fell down. down. My legs are busted. Is this the way I die? Alone in a wet and pitch black dungeon that smells like blood and semen? Oh my god. <laughs> so this is the Patreon exclusive playthrough. It's the <laughs> we can't. This game's so fucking edgy. It's not necessary. Two eggs. Yeah, this is incredible. Uh... <laughs> You search the barrel for anything useful, you find a turnip. Okay. Bucket is full of blood. Unlock the door. Where the f- Oh, we're down here. Yeah, you're all the way back here. Uh, I don't want to yep. save because I want to not get in a fight with that guy immediately upon exiting that room. So if we die, yeah. we die. That's but we're fine. slowly finding every shortcut. We are. So the level itself is driving girl mad. Yeah. She'll be fine. Um <laughs> She won't. She she will no. be factually unfined. She will be factually unfined. Um Did you ever inspect the cave in? The I, I couldn't. There was mm. Oh, you mean over to the left here? Yeah. Yeah, let's look at that. Because you never know when something is is something. The hallway's yeah. collapsed here. Makes you wonder how the rest of this old fortress holds up. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's it. 
it's just a just a trap so it basically allows us to go back oh come on I'm not gonna survive this oh yeah my scimitar was like way better than the one I had Hadron was defeated fear and hunger all right well now we we at least have a slightly better save yeah. file here We've successfully made it. Our save is now successfully 18 minutes into the game. Yes. It only took uh, three hours. <laughs> well, you're just gonna open with this. I need the infection gone because it will kill us otherwise. Jesus Christ! The splash. And now I'm bleeding, but I can just use a cloth for the cloth fragment. Yep. And cure the bleeding. This is Yellow Jackets. Yeah, we're doing fine. She can eat that, and we're fine. Oh, my movement speed is decreased, though. Because you have a leg. Because I cut off my leg. Oh God. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, he doesn't quite have like a legless animation, but he noticeably only seems to like move one leg in his walk cycle. Yeah. All right, we're dead. Oh. I think we might him. try to. Uh, yeah. Do you think he might patrol by? He will. Yes. But I think what we're gonna do is. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I was going to say, I think what we're going to try to do is uh, live with the infection as long as we can and see what we can do uh, to open that uh, door behind the bookshelf if we can find out how to get there. Stinger I don't like that thrust. sound. He's still going for stinger attacks. Yeah. My stinger, your stinger's pulsating. Mmm. Tackle. I just wanted to see what the, what disabling certain body parts actually did to them, because I can't really tell. More <laughs> That girl feels a little less hungry. Uh oh. Well. You got the stinger ending. Blood just spurted out of your anus. Great. The girl is dead now. Wait. Did we not? You didn't I didn't die. die. I get to continue playing. You just don't have legs. Look at the status effect. You have you you're you're bleeding out of your butt as a status effect. You have internal <laughs> okay. bleeding from his stinger. This game is the edgiest game I've ever played Jesus in my life. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Do you think do you think the bunny mask people will accept me now? <laughs> You're beautiful just the way you are. Yeah. <laughs> just put on uh, a mask. Your anal hole is bleeding and I blood farted. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Every moment of this ga game makes it seem <laughs> less possible to let's play. I uh... This game definitely exists. Boy, does it exist. What if I just max out every self-reported status on the, uh... On the <laughs> monetization screen so they can't flag me because I'm like, I said it was bad. <laughs> I then, mean... And it just shows it to adults only and doesn't monetize for anyone. <laughs> <sighs> on one hand uh, I would feel bad if we recorded you know the three episodes of this that we've recorded and it's just a waste and instead it gets to be a fun time that you and I had together <laughs> but on the other hand I just don't if this is like level one or two of the game I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to expect from the rest The question is to me, like, who's the most popular YouTuber that has less played this game, and what did they get away with?
Yeah. Maybe we should have done more research. But then you know too much. <laughs> then you know too much, exactly. I mean, this game is not banned on Twitch, so... Oop. I mean, to be fair, it is mostly just descriptions of horrible things. Yes. And then a very phallic attack appendage. There has been some crude animations. Yeah, no, there's definitely just actual sex scenes. But even, like, for example, the stinger itself, it doesn't, I mean, it, it's dick-like, but, like, it's also doesn't, it's not like someone drew a penis. They drew no. a big, long, weird object that has, like, a razor blade on the end of it. Like, yeah, no, a lot of this reminds me of, what's that, what was that other edgy horror game that the just came out like a few i played like six months ago uh is this buckman oh pocket cat why hello <laughs> stranger how are you doing this wonderful day i want to die don't we all don't we all life sure is peculiar like that huh what are you doing here hmm straight to business huh enough small talk Fair enough. I'm a merchant of sorts. I sell precious items and weapons for those in need. It's a funny thing, though. I don't want your gold or silver in exchange. I will trade items for human children. Bring them to me and I'll make it worth your while. Dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> My pockets are very deep, you see. So I think this is Buckman. Because I didn't see him. Because he looks like. Does he look the same? Yeah, he's wearing the same jacket. I'm not seeing any children with you. Loser. You're just. The fact that you're still just powering through as a legless, bleeding flesh tube. <laughs> Do you just call me a flesh tube? It's <laughs> not <so> polite. <laughs> Oh, is, is, is that not is that not the honorific in your country? No, that's that's incorrect. That's a very politically incorrect <laughs> been, thing to I've say. I've been about misinformed. <laughs> You're going back one. Uh, yes, I am. Is this so before you, you were feel, infected? This is before I was infected. Yeah. So you feel a bit rested. Uh. It felt like someone was watching while you slept. This room doesn't feel safe anymore. So the reason why I wanted to, though, is because I wanted to tear this blanket and then make sure that there wasn't another blanket. I think I missed one of them. And it will be very helpful to us to have that other blanket the first time we come through here. The darkness feels even heavier in this hall. There we go. Maybe you can cleanse a zone by getting 100% clearance of all of the uh, torches. That's a good idea. Uh, we haven't really been using the tinder boxes, so good, I mean, we good. may as well, right? Dodge past some of this stuff, and I wanted, yeah. So I wanted to tear, tear this one. There we it's go. Shiny, lucky coin. We got the lucky coin. So you activate with shift when you're dice when you're coin flipping. Yep. We forgot to go down here for this one. So let's do that. All right, it's a sturdy chest. Doesn't seem to be locked. Let's open it. Nope. Butts up. Mwah, 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 Twelve money. silver coins. We've never seen All a right. place to sell, th th buy things, have we? Nope. Except for for children. Yep. Yeah, g children are our currency in this game, apparently. Mm-hmm. There's one of them. Oh. <laughs> That's the currency. The entire economy is one girl. Okay. Skinning uh, knife. Miscellaneous torturing items. You can't comprehend their usage. You take the skinning knife with you. What is that? Can she use Can that? Can she use that? No. Nope. All right. You just Cadron's fruit ninja party that was man. victorious. We did. Now skin him. Yes. <laughs> we get. All right. Let's I knew him it. First. Find the second floor key from him, and then we can skin him. Skinning him serves no purpose. Oh, what? You don't judge me, game. <laughs> Why don't I get to take uh, pleasure in his suffering? His legs are purple too. The other guy had white legs, so maybe it's not him. 
Well, she's extremely fucked. I'm taking you with me. That's like a constant secu- uh... That's essentially like a, a cons- Oh, he's still coming. <sighs> Chopping it off right. is like security against the idea of the other ending happening. Yes, exactly. The monstrosity is down, skin him. You he took, took guard, guard skin. skin. Can you wear guard skin? <laughs> nope. As a fun prank? So it gave us raw meat. Uh, guard skin. Skin from prison guard. Okay, so I guess it's literally just a currency? Or something. There's that one yeah, guy that... I, that, uh, I mean, was it the... Uh, the the monster god guy like he like wears skin yeah so maybe oh. you created him with by get, farming skin you're right that is probably what we do just like how you pray to the vagina statue after having had an orgy i guess yes you are probably correct so we need to visit the rabbits and then go to the vagina statue at the at, under the flesh tunnel <laughs> yes. Sentences that are normal to say. Lantern. Oh. What are they going to do to me? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I don't get a crazy ending for that. There we go. Could you not open that nope. from the other side? <laughs> the toilet's That's back. That's the toilet. <laughs> from long, long ago. Remember episode one? We were so naive. <laughs> toilet ending. All right, and now here we have all of these these this book room that I can't interact with most of these things. So interesting. I love the Let's toilet to ending. The toilet this. ending is my favorite. We found an ancient book. The book it feels very special and has a hefty weight to it. Like a siren's call, the book is calling to you. It's macabre. Leather coverings look irresistible. That's like the Necronomicon. <laughs> yeah, I like you, explicitly yeah. don't want to read that. No, I specifically hear that, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is this is Evil Dead. Like you got you got all the right. bad book. Assassin's Handbook. That might be useful. That might give us a skill. Book of Fears. We already have that, I think. All right, we have to we have to eat some more to keep. Brave of you to assume okay. that anything will be useful on purpose. The mushroom made me hungrier. <laughs> That's bad. Again, just trying. Oop. Well, we did light a torch. That's fine. Search the shelf. Nitroglycerin powder, that seems useful. Moldy bread, also really useful. Maybe you get to throw it at somebody. Judging from the contents of this table, this room is the office of the captain of these dungeons. You find Captain's Diary 1 and a small key from inside the diary. Hey! Did we already have Captain's Diary 1? No, we only uh, had let's... two. Alright, let's read this one. Captain Rudimer. Captain Mer <laughs> 16th of <laughs> January, 1590. Torturer once again went too far with his wicked methods. The prisoner was but a child, but already he had to go through so much torture that he shit himself more than he bled. <laughs> How do you measure that? How do you compare those yeah. two things? I must you say, it all. I'm afraid. It's very scientific. <laughs> I'm afraid of torture to a certain degree. Sometimes that's weirdly cut off. I think I would do I would do this world justice if I offed him with my blade. That's not how you spell that, uh, Captain. Very few know, but Torture used to be a famed holy knight of Rondon back in the day. He was able to achieve great fame at a very young age. But during our holy campaign against Eastern Terri Terriotories, he was captured. These are in-universe misspellings. Everyone presumed him as dead. He died as a war hero. He should have died as a war hero, but five years later he was occup we occupied the eastern capital, Jataya. We also found that he was left what was left of Torturer. I'm just calling him Torturer because trying to pronounce that's just a nightmare. Torture. Tor tor the fucking Sangheili voice. He was but a shadow of his former self, a disfigured hunchback man with barely any resemblance to the great hero so many adored. I am sure during those five years, he went through every method of torture. He now puts to use himself. There's no reason for a comma there. Just to honor the memory of Torturer the White. That was just his name in advance, apparently. 
I let this monster live today, although I see great contradiction in my words here. It's like having a character named Lupin who becomes a werewolf at age 50 or something. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly his name's ironic and it's not just a weird random name. She just I guess sits here. Dark Priest just, yeah, lets us do her thing. Fellowship Chapter 2. We'll Maybe stop it's... and read like all of these books in a minute. Maybe that character's a hook for a different character. Yeah, maybe the oh dark Lord, priest can teach them. hurting. Ping. I'm just waiting it's a for satisfying the... sound effect. Yeah, I'm just waiting for one of these to be a trap. Yeah. Like... <laughs> just, it just shoots. It just arrow sprouts from your shoulder, as the books would always say when I was growing up. Hold, Hold it. it. Halt! You violated the law. <laughs> just all this dialogue I again. I see. Yeah, it seems like you still retain your sanity. Blah blah blah. It's a safe way to reassuring. Yeah. It, it's a, in a way, it's reassuring to see I'm not completely alone. Uh, let's just say no. Yeah. I wonder if he says anything about the kid. That's what I'm. I'm trying to make sure I don't skip through. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have anything. To now say we can give her a knife, and then she can lose in fights. <laughs> yep. Stay cautious in the dungeons. The evil in this place is of pure kind. Yeah, the same stuff you told us already. Uh, who are you? You can call me Ragnavalder. I'm an outlander. You seem familiar with this evil. Yeah, yes. My kind, the northern people of Oldegord. We found the dark continent of Vinland from the far reaches of the west. The moment you lay your eyes on the crooked mountains and the twisted forests of those lands, you feel the presence of a greater evil. It's the same evil that resides here. Okay, that wasn't quite ready for you yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's very Norwegian. Uh, a simple dagger is laying on the ground. It reminds you of your childhood when your father used to teach you swordsmanship with a similar dagger. It might be a suitable weapon for children, but for adults it's too small. You could give it to the girl. You give it to the girl and she seems surprised to get a gift such as this dagger. She seems like she's not used to kindness of any kind. In oh. any case, the girl seems excited about the dagger. She's oh yeah, and she still gets to have the the little... Her hands are still up like she's holding the doll, so... And soon she'll be cutting up animals. Yeah. I think when she had the doll, you could see the doll. Oh, okay. Search the barrel for anything useful, find rotten meat. <laughs> Butterfly! So this has got to be Almer, for sure. What is he like? We don't know. We'll read about it in a minute. Throw 100 uh, severed penises at my feet. That I don't want to interact that is how you pray. with these. I don't want to interact with them. I just want to grab this red herb. And then we'll get out of here because the, the sex makes the girl uncomfortable. Uh... Interesting. There's no door behind the statue, huh? It just feels like where there'd be one. Let's check. Uh, yeah, there isn't. There's nothing here. This, this is just... like kind of a dead end hallway. <laughs> Leave me be. I'm turning into a butterfly. All right, bud. He seems friendly. Yeah. Let's Here's see if, if what's-his-face is here. <laughs> or let's not actually talk to him when we have the girl around. I think that's probably a bad idea. Or is this all we can do here? Maybe they, maybe he gives you the Moonlight Greatsword. That's also very possible. Yeah. Okay, no, we can go this way. A strange object. This is an egg. We're not going to break this. Oh, those this. are eggs. Yeah, sp spiders are going to come out of there. hear something from the darkness. Glitter. Soul stone. Okay. Ruh row. I broke that because I wanted to get through here, but it doesn't seem like it does oh, anything. No. So do we just need to break all of them? The insides are disgusting and smell rotten. Uh, I don't like breaking this. There we go. Oh. Yeah, it's the evil harpy woman. I don't think she's happy about that. She's, she's like nope. the mother of all of them, probably. Cave mother. You summon the boss fight. You can cut her boobs off. <laughs> of yeah. course. Okay, girl. 
<laughs> she does not do anything with the knife. I lost no. my left arm. She births. Oh, no, it came here for breastfeeding. Eh. Dang, girl's tanky. Uh. Ooh. Lost your left arm. Ninety-six damage. Slice to the off city. the tatas, I guess. Nope. It's my tata attack. -tac. Meow. Uh, our party was defeated. We don't get any cool ending out of that one. No cave mother hmm. ending. When was the save? Oh, it was just right before we we went into the um the bunny area. Oh, recipes of the recipes. 15th century. This will help us with crafting. Dishes. Yeah. This book is about various re recipes from the famous chef Anders of the uh, Royal Kitchen of Rondon. Even if the book portrays itself as a recipe book, it seems to tell more about the notorious chef Anders himself. It's more of a biography book, greatly over-exaggerating his life triumphs and challenges as the royal chef. There seems to be a nice love story twist too with the princess of the court. Between all this romance and betrayal, you find recipes of Chef Anders' famous meat pie and vegetable pie. So yeah, so that gives us crafting mechanics, see? And we have the stuff to make it, and then we can, ooh, yeah. dried meat and egg or meat pie. That's an Let's entire do pie. this right now. And then, I don't know what this does, the blue fluid, but might as well make it. Collected recipes, 14 out of 32. Crafted items, 2 out of 24. Oh, Crafted armor, 0 out of 4. Do. Crafted weapons, 0 out of 0. <laughs> what does that mean? It means we don't have any of the recipes, but we have a lot of recipes for other stuff. You have 4 armor recipes? Yeah. Uh, I think, maybe? Or crafted, I don't know. I don't know, yeah. It's like zero to zero box. just makes it sound like the game has no weapons to craft. It's just that it's I mean, maybe. You. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get nitroglycerin powder this time, but that does confirm we can make something out of it. Interesting. Um. Okay, so the meat pie, so cooked food gives you basically all of your health back. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now we're cooking. An empty bucket with some dirt on the bottom. Miscellaneous food agreements in various states. You find an iron arrow. I've been finding iron arrows right now for some reason, which is weird. Because you did, unfortunately, right. you don't have the starting weapon with the bow. Yeah, but that means that the bow takes ammo, which is bad. Poems yeah, no, of love rough. and torment. Chained Heart by Ron Chambara. Silent grace in life, hid in your eye, and eyes I used to dream all night. Wasted tears weigh in my back from our love. Of lies, lies, I used to stay awake all nights. Chains in my heart, gaining weight before your eyes, too heavy for me to bear, can't you see me suffer? So hard to withstand, even a sight of your eyes, chains in my heart, so heavy I can't defy. You ponder these lines in your head. Minus 100 sanity. <laughs> well. Uh, we read Captain's Diary 1, didn't we? Yeah, this yeah, is about torture. Yeah, we know 1 and 2. And then, I hate that it closes the menu when we interact with this. We've read the Book of Fears before. Let's read Creation of Life. Nosramus, 13th of the 5th moon of 1109. The prolonged studies with the black growth hormone finally produces some results. The black liquid has proven to be very potent in my previous research, but this new discovery is unlike anything I expected. The mixture with human blood has created a new artificial life form. The results are a tiny fetus with human features. It is breathing lightly and seems to be in constant agony. Nisramis, first of the half moon of 1109. Oh, Nisramis is over 400 years old. 
Oh. Yeah, the life no, that's form, huge. Yeah, is ever so hungry, but no matter how much nourishment I feed it, there's no visible growth. I'm doing experiments with different sources of food, but nothing seems to work. It's as if this miserable being is destined to forever remain in this state of constant agony. Nisramis, 30th of the half moon of 1109. The appetite is nothing short of astonishing, but it produces no effect in its growth. Second of the sixth moon of 1109, I killed the child that had no purpose in this world. I am questioning whether we as humans were ever meant to create artificial life. I must once again study the teachings of the older gods to attain such miracles. Uh, that's right. We can try to go find Nisramis. I just don't know where they are. Because when I went down the elevator, the door that I went to in the past to find them is no longer there. Hmm. Was the, so, uh... Let's... Have you ever fought anyone with the girl having a... Oop. What's gonna happen? <sighs> well, that's the same spot, isn't it? So it's a specific yeah, location. Yeah, I just took a little bit of damage. It's fine. The, uh... Haven't you only fought that one boss with a girl having a knife? Yeah, so maybe it will help random enemy encounters. Well, what I'm, what I'm wondering is she she has erotophobia. Yeah. So like a naked oh, woman so monster she's... thing might be a problem for her. That's true. Let's. Oh my God! Save. Give me good outcomes, please. Thank God, double heads. That would have been bad. What is the soup? Is it a better than normal outcome? Like, what's going to happen? You're incredibly rested? No, I, I think it's saying that I could be attacked in the night if I, uh, if I didn't, uh, get a what? positive result. Yeah, I just think about how nothing bad happened when you had a neutral ending, a new, neutral role of having both. It's because that's, you get advantage when you, um, when you flip two coins. So you get oh. to keep. You get to keep the better results. It's D&D, &D, like, yeah, it's D&D &D advantage yeah. rolls, except way more consequential. Yes. At least that's as far as I could tell. That's what it seemed like to me. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that every time it's been two uh, coins was because you hit shift. Yeah. I used my lucky coins there to do that. So it gives you an advantage, but it seems like it takes... Uh, it takes a it takes a chance basically on uh, allowing you to benefit from an outcome or not is this where we go i yeah. think we went up here for nasramus i'm just trying to wonder like are yes we, sure? we did okay, okay we're up here okay there's other there's places to go here okay you feel a terrible presence entering these dungeons i was gonna say like My i don't tracks... think i don't think this i don't think the eggs were the only thing to do in the cave you're true uh, you're right. So the Minecraft, uh, Minecraft. Oh my god! <laughs> the minecart is full of rocks and rubble. Take a stone. Notice a person kneeling in the darkness. The person doesn't seem to radiate immediate danger or aggression, from your, and your presence Here seems you to are. remain hidden. So we will show ourselves to them, but instead of asking them, a terrifying presence uh, in the room. Oh no! We step out of the shadows. Oh, new visitors. My name is Nisramis. I'm an alchemist living down here. Pleased to meet you. You cannot quite tell if the alchemist is a woman or a man. We want to stay cautious because I want to see if they say anything after this. Because last time we said nice to meet you too. The white-haired alchemist seems to measure you with squinty eyes. My apologies. I left the kettle on and I'm in a bit of a hurry. Let's meet again. Okay, so she says that no matter what. Alright. We gotta yeet ourselves into this room uh, because there's a terrifying presence in the darkness. The person disappeared into the darkness. The echoes of his footsteps sound distant before vanishing into the moist air. Immediately light this torch <laughs> so that the terrifying presence doesn't enter. Oh, we found a cabbage. That's good. Hadron's starting to feel hungry. What this game is has a very brutal resource economy. Yeah, it does. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> look at those. Look at that cake. Yeah. This caked up Valdo over here. <laughs> There's something shining underwater. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of axolotl. Yeah, the salmon snake. That's what neither of those things are. Yeah, that's not what either of those words mean. It looks like an axolotl that has that one parasite that replaces your tongue. Yeah. 
Oh, he took his eyes out. <laughs> yeah. Try oh. to lose any of your limbs. All right, so we can supplement our damage with the little girl's knife on fleshy targets. So yeah, maybe it was the... Oh. Will this help us? Oh, I think I was right about the parasite. Yeah. I don't like that. I <laughs> don't like that. Okay, can we kill this thing? It's That's coming my out. question. <laughs> that must be the weak spot. Like, that must be the real enemy. Yeah. It is really rough here not being able to attack. Like, not being able to heal. Yeah. Come on, save us, girl. Oh, God. She's got a concussion. It's about to be a lot worse than that. Yep. She's about to get swallowed. Hadron was defeated. Oh, All right. That Ugh. was startling. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we know we can go try and uh, meet with Nisramis. Uh, yeah, let's go deeper truly... to the caves. There's more going on in there. Yeah, that's pretty... This is exhausting. <laughs> oh, hey, that, that, that guy that killed you in one of the first runs is actually in the title screen. The tall armor guy. The only the only time I got rid of a save uh, was when I got infected. So uh, otherwise, yeah. we have moved in complete proper order. Uh, otherwise, through our our chain of um, okay. Oh, oh moonless that's, that's is growling dog. you. That's anti moon. That, that's a sick moon. dog. Your your teeth are not okay. No, these this are like the a... dogs from Resident Evil Four. Oh, you're right. The Resident Evil Four remake dogs. Bye. That's a sick dog. That's the anti moon moon. <laughs> yes. Nope. Oh, the merchant's here. What do you think? What can we get out of her? <laughs> <laughs> Notice a person kneeling in the darkness. The person doesn't seem to radiate immediate danger. Wait for the person to walk away. Very good. She does not know we are here now, which is good for us. The, the person disappeared into the darkness. The what? echoes of his footsteps sound distant before vanishing into the moist air. Huh. The question is whether this makes things better or not. Yeah. My gut reaction is it does, but... Show love, pray, sacrifice, leave. Show love... Yeah, that's scary. You search the urn for anything useful. You find a bottle of ale. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, you can get plastered before you die and then accomplish nothing else. A find war, a war scythe? scythe? I'm sorry? It's not as good as my scimitar, but hey. Uh, Oil. Okay. Can we have a party member that's not a small child? Oh. Okay. He's back. Oh, he, so he's a guard enemy. Is is he always at this door? Yes. Oh, so you have to lure him away and Anytime go Anytime we try to go over there, he will be there. A presence is not letting you pass. Oh, uh, you can't sneak past him. Oh, oh. God. Uh, oh. You lost your... Well, you cut your arm off with magic outside of combat? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Party member? Oh, it's the knight. Yeah. Maybe you can recruit the knight if you say, oh. Well. Well. Cave dweller, penis. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. The exclamation point means they're scared. She has erotophobia, so she won't be able to do stuff well. Because he's naked. Yeah. Well, now you fixed it. <laughs> I did. The cave dweller loses its balance with its penis cut. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it like a champ at that point. 
Ah, oh, thank goodness. Uh, do, do you know what they it did to me? Ah. Uh, I cannot talk about it. No. Thank you for your help for a thousand times. Without you, I'd be dead by now. Glad I could help. I'm so relieved there are still good people in this world. To be honest, I'm just surprised to see a sane person in these dungeons. If there is anything I can do for you, let me know. I'm in a debt to you. The things they did. Who are you? My name is Dart Catalyst. I'm part of the Knights of the Midnight Sun. Oh, interesting. Her face starts to radiate the moment she started talking about the Knights. I apologize in advance. My manners might seem a bit strict for lowly newcomer or lowly commoners. <laughs> I originally had an I originally had an uprising in the Kingdom of Rondon as a royal knight before leaving with the Knights of the Midnight Sun. That's not what uprising means. Upbringing. <laughs> yeah. I think. Are you hungry? I I, I might be. It's a whole colony uh, living down here. Oh, we found another lucky coin. I'm she, oh, I'm bleeding out. That's what's happening. She was also the. Because yeah, she was the Holy Knight, huh? So she, that. Yep. Her being a holy knight and then being introduced that way when you're playing other characters makes me think of Berserk again. Yep. Like, I know what character you potentially are. Yeah, Does it's make... very Casca. No, not Casca. The, uh, the later one. Farnese? The... Yeah. For... Oh. Yeah, Farnese, the one who takes care of Casca. Yeah, she, uh, she is, well... Yeah, I guess I see that. I was gonna say she seems very Casca because it's very clear that there's like sexual assault overtones when you recruit, like when you speak to her just then. So. Yeah, but for Nice, there's the horse. Yeah, that's when yes, she sees please. the bad. I mean, yeah. that would be the wisest thing to do, obviously. I would gladly join your party until I can fulfill my mission here. Yeah, I figured she could join oh, the excellent. party. Yeah. Give her a war. So we have three people. And we have three people, but, but one arm. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't just hit optimize. I'm very lazy. Uh, I would hit it if I wasn't worried about the game giving me, like, a weapon that has really high damage but terrible other stats, and it just optimizing, like, out of that. <laughs> and just being wrong. So, yeah. Let's try to fight the... Oh. No. Oh, my God! He's cool. The crow mauler. That's the guy behind the the thing, wasn't it? It was. Who's your pyramid head, dude? Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> so I think I think the crow is the dark presence. Uh, I think so too. Wow, you had you had Dars in the party for thirty seconds. <laughs> then she got uh, decapitated. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, wow, I just ignored the kid. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do? You just gotta not get caught by the crow. Maybe you have to use a torch to see better. God, my torch so you don't did get just caught go out. Things. You're right. You just need to successfully not get caught by Pyramid Head on the way out. That was yeah. a rad sprite. <laughs> that was a very cool, very, very cool sprite. I like that a lot. Uh, I don't even have right. to censor it because it didn't even have a penis. All right. It is interesting just how heavily this game wears its inspirations on its sleeve. The dog let us run away immediately, and it comes from right the right side of the screen, so it seems like a scripted event. I want to try to talk to All it. All enemies. You will be devoured whole instantly. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Losing two okay, whole minutes of progress. Skills talk. Guard. 
He tried to t- talk some sense into this monster. Oh. Sit, Sit bad no, boy, bad prepare boy. to die. Offer rotten meat. You give rotten meat to the moonless. Cautiously, the beast starts eating the meat. <gasps> Can we keep talking to it? Can you pet the dog? Wait, 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 wait. Can you join the party? What can the gonna... dog join the party? <laughs> you're gonna you get try your... talking some sense of the beast. Yes. You can Offer get... the you... rotten meat to the moonless. The beast already takes it without a worry. Oh my god, we're improving oh its mood. Oh my god, you're gonna get repeat in the party. <gasps> me and her join oh, the party. We got the dog. We got the dog in the party. There's a demon dog in the party. Moonless seems to understand you. Oh my god. Oh my god, well, this is the best game ever made. Look at the little this demon is horrible awesome. dog. Oh god, it's horrible. There's a huge creature chained up on the wall. It's all dried up, but it's uncertain whether it's alive or not. It's breasts are oozing yellow mucus. Ew. Milk? Oh, this is the harpy. If this is the kill... monster we fought. It attacked yeah. us because we were attacking Moonless. its eggs. <laughs> oh, Moonless is man. fucking cool. That you is can... sick. <laughs> Fucking of all games, fear, uh, fear and hunger says you can pet the dog. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Feel a terrifying presence entering. Okay, so that's two party members next to each other. This is a huge spike. Uh, wait for the person to walk away. I'm just, I'm not gonna alert them that we're here because I don't trust them. Because remember, they're doing like weird homunculi experiments. Yeah, they're probably a bad guy. Man, my game design sense is so good with this fucking dog. I feel <laughs> so good about this. I just the way that it like walked on screen, I was like, this is a this is like a very specific enemy showing up at a very specific mo- <laughs> moonless marks or t- oh! <laughs> That was such a whiplash between a funny, cute moment and like. <laughs> <laughs> we do- so I dodged that creepy creature, and it doesn't oh seem to God. notice us now. Um, Whenever I talk about hating turn-based combat and how it should just be in a more impactful game, this is a good example of that, where it's just like, it's yeah, turn-based combat, and I'm like, ew, gross, ruin the whole game for me. Yeah, this game well, it's monotonous. because every fucking moment of this game's combat is like, yeah. you might just fucking die. <laughs> This is going to stop and pee everywhere, which could be bad. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it repels certain enemies, or maybe it, or maybe it'll make you trackable. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Yeah. Lost your left leg. I feel like when you get into I that room, you just need to attack him. Especially with movements, yeah. so you can probably just kill him. Oh, I probably can. You're probably right. We just got to keep iterating on our strategy here. All right. Reeks of primal violence. Oh, Moonless is just controlled by the AI. That's that's interesting. Moonless, <laughs> Moonless select. Oh my god! Rex return. When I saw what Moonless selected, I thought Moonless fucking bit his dick off. <laughs> All right, let's recruit her. We tell her we're glad we could help, and then... You, yeah, uh, you don't mind being in a party with a demon, right? Holy night. Let's pray. Uh, would you like to travel together? Yes, please. Excellent. All right. Yeah, uh, four-player party. Don't get decapitated instantly, please. Although, we're, pro- we're yeah, just, well, this is still kind of a, a, a wash run because you lost your leg. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think we want to try to save whenever you have a missing limb. Yeah, no. Excellent. But, but yeah, the turn-based combat, the completely unforgivable choices, the almost hila- the hilarious level of grimdark, and then the limb losing mechanic while you protect a little girl. Yeah. I'm like, this. I, I was like, I had the right instinct from the get-go, where I was like, this game looks like it's gonna be more like Lisa, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely does have that weird Lisa vibe to it. Disposable, instantly agree. killable party members. There's like a lot in common with Lisa. More to censor than Lisa. <laughs> I can't wait for the we Russian. Pretty... I can't wait for the Russian roulette boss fight. Yeah. Oil. Oh boy. Tinder boxes. 
Make fire bombs. Throw them at Crow Man. Moonless is peeing on the on the penisless monster. He deserves it. Oh, they all turn all right. back. Oh, it's a ladder, I guess. They all turn backwards when you yeah. go down it. Where is he? Yeah, you should just kill this thing immediately. Yellow Mage jumps around in a ritual dance. Kill, girl, kill. <laughs> oh, so you start every fight giving Moonless a command on whether or not this, this is an aggro fight. I think really specifically this character scares Moonless. Oh. Because it gave a description of the enemy. What I'm sad about with Moonless is that... Oh. Oh! We're, is that we're definitely going to see Moonless with like without limbs later. Oh, yeah. That would be tragic. We need to see, protect Moonless at all in costs. In fact, Moonless very obviously has a like the Hanna-Barbera effect going on with her limbs. <laughs> I can yeah. see the separation points where they'll come off. The colors do not match up. That's my term. I made it up. Everyone has to use it now. You can see the cell shadows behind the movable objects. Yeah. Oh, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, the sitting animation. Only an empty sack of clothing remains here. There's something underneath the pile. You find a soul devour necklace. Well. Intriguing. All oh, right. Remember we had devour in a route? Yeah, as the we, outlander. We, we made we a, ate our, our first companions. character was a cannibal. He could have eaten bodies when he killed things, probably. Yeah, I bet I that's how it worked. They all, they, I'm sure they all have completely different mechanics that help you out throughout this thing. Like everybody else probably has a much more restrictive route through the game because they don't have the that they, they didn't pick the master key in Dark Souls. Yeah. All right. Um. I want to be at my absolute strongest when I'm fighting this because I think we can actually do it. Oh, if we the snake play thing, cards, right. right? Yeah. The axolotl. Well, now you have way more firepower than ever before. Frankly, you're you're more powerful now than we even anticipated you could become. <laughs> yeah, much much stronger than I thought. It's comical how much nearby party there's two nearby party members. Now the damage is spread out between different party members. Yeah. How exactly does health work in this game? Do you just recover over time if your other meters are up at all, or is there any? I have any no way clue. Of, do you even heal ever? <laughs> Oh my god, did I just get a bleed? Did I just inflict a status effect? You did. Or what oh you did. boy, we're happy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Sound would take Snake is tensing up. Just bites Moonless the tongue. Moonless gets so many extra turns, too. Dogs Hell are fucked yeah. up. That's Dark Souls lore. They have to be hyper aggro and have too many and be too swift. Just the worst thing. <laughs> oh, you killed it. Its tongue yeah, is defeated. Up the... Now you gotta take off its limbs. So, so yeah, it we just gotta take you. out all its limbs. That's that sound. What is it making me think about? Oh, it's making me think of the screen where they announced characters' names in y Yakuza. Oh, yeah. When I heard the bong bong. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Well, Let's go, Moonless. I think, I think the Salmon Snake is regretting some choices lately. Oh, we are so swole right now. Right, speaking of Lisa comparisons, you even have the opportunity to trade party members for profit. In the case of the child. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, fuck off. This game is, I feel more empowered right now than I've ever felt in my life. In my entire <laughs> living human life, I've never in my, in even for a moment, felt this strong. 
You had to earn it. Oh my god, its head's just off. The shining object was a stone crown. The crown is made of some finger, finer quality stone, which <laughs> makes it shiny. But the crew design suggests it's not worth much. So I must take a Sand slate. Snake. It's dead torso reeks of sea. Use skinning knife? Use take on what? That, uh, that was a weird yeah. description. Okay, so we took some of the salmon skin. That's cool. Yeah. Mm, All right, so we got some meat. meat for it. So we got more food. If only you had a leg. Maybe he's a part of Let's member. kill this guy, too. <laughs> oh, no. Night lurch. Night lurch horn. <laughs> oh, no. This is just a universe where people evolved to have violent sexual oh organs the girl has an infection uh, i mean ah. and she's bleeding i don't think we were coming back from you from this once you lost your leg anyway yeah but we're learning and one day well, this will become permanent progress oh something it's shiny, shiny, in, his something shiny in his palms in him's palms uh. <laughs> the description there's something, shiny. There's something shiny in him's palms. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we gotta heal the girl. Here's what we have to worry about in this playthrough is that when Moonless gets too much hunger, she consumes party members. <laughs> <laughs> we got tons of food though. Yeah, but if you feed if you feed Moonless a grape, she dies. Yeah. Oh no. You have to think about dog diets. Yeah, we we feed her feed her onion and it's just all over. Yeah. So what do we do now though? <laughs> like like what is our end game currently? Milk the bat. Milk the bat. Milk the bat. Milk the bat. It, it'll be like right, in it'll be like in like the last Jedi. You get green milk. Mmm, yummy. Yummy yummy. Can I bone saw something off the girl? Do we have a bone saw left? No. You want to? <laughs> oh god! We could smoke something with this. So the bone saw goes away. Yeah, you the use it. Single it's use a, item. Yeah, it's an item for curing infections. You're gonna cut the limb off the 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 girl. Yeah. No, no penicillin. Maybe this will be penicillin. You make some yellow mucus from the breast. Okay. Maybe it's penicillin. Cure the girl. <laughs> Can't use it. Was, have to craft it with it. No. It said the yellow mucus uh, it could be edible, but it has a it has a bad smell. So the smell is very salty, but it might just be edi Damn. edible. Yeah. You read very quickly. I guess when you're in control, you also know when to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's my bad. So with my I reaction time, I, li I literally don't see what things are. Yeah, I do read very quickly. That is that is my fault. Uh, hmm. Huh. 